boys, boys and girls, we have talked about measuring to the nearest inch, and we're going to just review that quickly because just in case you didn't quite catch on to that, let's take a look at this next slide here. And on this one, I've got a ruler here, and I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. I just want to show the top part of this ruler to begin with, and we'll take a look at this, and we notice there's a one on here, and there's a two, and there's a three, and there's a four, and this ruler goes up to five. And we know that each of those places is marking an inch. So from the beginning of the ruler to right here, we say that's one inch. Now that makes sense. And then if we go to this next place where it says two, we know that's two inches. Or this is three, of course, and up to here is four inches. And this last one here that we've got is up to five inches. Remember that we always say we want to make sure that we start at the very beginning of the ruler. I noticed that one person's ruler actually had a zero mark in on that space. And that's a good thing to know that this is zero. There's nothing there, and that's where we start from. So we start from there, and we measure up an inch. Now, if I'm just going to draw this down just a little bit. I'm going to shade here so we can see the other side. I didn't want you to be confused, but this one on the other side is exactly the same thing, only it's measuring from this direction going this way here. And we're going to be using the top part of this ruler for the most part, but just when you see this ruler, don't be confused. We'll be looking at just the top part here. Um, maybe we'll look at the other side, but for right now, we're looking at the top part. We're going to go to the next slide and take a look at some of the items in my toy box here. We're going to measure them to the nearest inch. And again, I know this is just a review for you, but here in this toy box, we've got all sorts of things. Here my ruler is on the bottom, and we're going to be using that ruler, and we're going to um, hook up against some items here and measure them to the nearest inch. So I'm going to start with this big yellow card here in the front or in the middle of the page, and I'm going to put that ruler on there. And I'm trying to line it up. You notice I'll line it up right here at the bumper. This line here goes right across the bumper there. And so then I'm going to line that up there. And then on the other side, uh, here's the other bumper. And I'm lining this up over here. And we're measuring it to the nearest inch. Well, you know, if we had to say it's to the nearest inch, we're going to be looking at four, and we're going to be looking at five. And well, this line where this bumper is, it is closer to five. So we'd say that the car measures closer to five inches, and it's to the nearest inch, it would be five inches, about five inches. Well, let's next measure uh, the, the trumpet here. Here's the trumpet down here. Um, here's the mouthpiece, and we're going to draw a line right there at the mouthpiece, and here's the bell at the other end. We're going to drag our ruler down to the trumpet, and we're going to be measuring that to the nearest inch. Notice that I have the line here at the beginning. This is our zero point. I line that up with the mouthpiece, and then over here by the bell is the other red line, and oh, we have to say, is it closer to three inches, or is it closer to four inches? Well, of course, this red line is closer to four inches, so we'd say the trumpet is about four inches. And of course, we use those two little marks to indicate the inch sign. Let's measure one more item to the nearest inch. Let's take that necktie over there. That looks like one of Mr. F's neckties over here. And we're going to measure that one to the nearest inch. Uh, we'll take our ruler, and we're going to have to spin our ruler. Um, side here so that we can measure up and down. So take my ruler, slide it over here. I'm starting at the top of the necktie with my zero mark here. And here's where my necktie starts. A mark right there. There's my B mark here if I can. My B mark right there. That's kind of my zero spot. Let's line that up. There and then here's the end of my necktie down here. And if I slide my ruler just a little bit, so I don't get my line to my ruler. Let's put my ruler there. And oh, I see it's closer. It has one or two. It's closer to two. So to the nearest inch, that necktie is two inches. Well, that's not hard. We've been measuring to the nearest inch. The next thing we're going to be taking a look at is measuring to the nearest half inch. Join me in the next slide as we take a look at measuring to the nearest half inch.